peace, stress free, let it be. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Ashley and today we are going to be doing, I guess, a no sew thrift flip. I'm going to be sewing, but technically the thrift flip does not require sewing. I don't know what I'm talking about. Also, my hair looks crazy. I'm really sorry. I think that's the best it's going to get. I apologize. Anyway, I do have one other thrift flip and another video where I talk about heat transfer paper, heat transfer vinyl, whatever. They're two different things. But in this video, I'm going to be using heat transfer paper to thrift flip these two shirts that I thrifted a long time ago. I've been meaning to do this for a while. <laughs> but also, one of the shirts that I thrifted is too big, so I'm going to be sewing it to my size. But if you thrift shirts that actually fit you, uh, you won't have that problem. <laughs> the first shirt that I'm going to be flipping with this heat transfer paper is this little tank top. It's from Circo, I think that's how you say it. I don't entirely know. Uh, but it's just these two different shades of pink and I think it's so, so cute. It's just a little bit too big on me. It's a child's extra large, but it like fits really weird right here and then on the side. And yeah, so we're going to sew that to fix it. But again, this is a no sew tutorial. So if you have, uh, you know, shirts that fit, you don't have to sew it. <laughs> and the next shirt that I'm going to be flipping is this little Brandy Melville shirt. It's just so like boring. I feel like both of these are just really plain and boring and I want to spice it up a little bit. I like things on my shirt. So yeah, it just has different colored sleeves and it's like a light pink, light purple situation. The designs that we're going to be putting on it are designs that I actually drew on my iPad through Procreate. So I'm going to be printing it out onto the heat transfer paper and then ironing it on to the shirt. Really simple, but I just wanted to show you how it works and the heat transfer paper that I like using and all that good stuff. So let's get started. First, I guess I will show you sewing my shirt so that it fits me. But again, if you have a shirt that fits, you don't have to do it. Okay, I've said that like 50 million times. We should get started. But if you like this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up down below so that I know. And also comment. Oh, I don't have anything to comment. I don't know. I don't know. Comment some design that you would want to put on a shirt, I guess. I, I'm running out of comment ideas. And if you like this video and want to see more videos like this and from me, then feel free to subscribe, join our little friend group over here. It's always a fun time over here, so feel free to join us. Okay, actually, let's get started. This has been a really long intro. I apologize. We're starting now. Okay. Could I have done this bottom hem at least a little bit better? Yeah, probably. Could I have used the same color instead of the hot pink? Yes. But I tried a different stitch on my sewing machine and I made it like halfway around before I realized the stitch wasn't doing what I wanted it to do. So I should have just used a straight stitch. I wanted to try something different, but honestly, I don't think it's that noticeable and I don't think people are gonna be paying that much attention. Uh, I could seam rip the whole thing I'm not going to, that's just too much. Here is our first design. This is gonna go on the pink tank top. It says 99% angel, nobody's perfect. Super cute, I drew that, but I like copied it from somewhere, but I drew it from looking at the thing. I don't know, you don't care. And this is the other one that's gonna go on the short sleeve shirt. I'm debating if I should make the phone a different color, but I really like it, this like pink color. So I think we're gonna keep it. Uh, it's like the, you know, the thing with the hands, what is it called? Siri, what is that painting with the hands called? I found this on the web. It gave me finger painting. <laughs> it's fine, hold on. The creation of Adam. I took the hands from that uh, and I put a little style phone in there. It says, 
I love you, bitch. I don't know. I thought that was so fun and cute. Okay, yeah. So we're going to send these to my computer and then print them out on our paper. I'll show you what paper I'm using. One second. Okay, I actually recolored it so that it matches the shirt because it's like pink and purple. So I actually lied. Before we print it out, we have to measure it on like a piece of paper where we want it to like fit on the shirt. Actually, that's not making any sense. We have to like use a piece of paper. Oh my god. We have to use a piece of paper to measure where we want it to like fit on the shirt, like how big we want it and stuff. I found that the measurements on my computer when I'm like sizing it are always wrong for some reason. I don't know. Uh, so I'm just gonna use a piece of paper and kind of like guesstimate because as long as it's like in the range, I guess. I don't know. So like if I have the paper here, it's gonna be like way too small. So I would have to do it sideways. I kind of just want it to be the size of the whole paper. <laughs> like here is a good place for this one. So that's like an inch on each side, about, I think. I don't know. Okay, I size them to where I want. Hopefully that's correct. Um, and then I... Oh, put them all on one page so that I don't waste like two sheets of paper when it's not really necessary. So the heat transfer paper that I like to use is this Printworks paper. This is actually the one for light colored fabric. I was just showing you like the name of the brand, but this is actually the one for dark paper. I only have one sheet left because <laughs> I like the one for dark, or dark paper, dark fabric. I like the one for dark fabric best, so I only have one sheet left. And since I just realized that this is my last piece of heat transfer paper, I'm a little bit nervous for the sizing to be wrong. Keep our fingers crossed, let's hope that it's not. Oh no, I found it. I have more. Okay, I actually have like five more sheets. I was like, there's no way I used all of it, but this is the only one that I could find at the time. So it's okay, we can mess up. I don't want to, I don't wanna waste the paper, but we can't, it's an option. <laughs> okay, let me just show you closer up. This is what we're using. Print works for dark fabric. Fabric transfers. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I nervous? So there's my little printer, so cute. And we just put the paper in with the white side facing up. Then we're gonna go back to my iPad and share it, I guess as a PNG. I'm not really sure what the difference is. Uh, print. Oh, and see, so that's cut off a little bit, so I'm gonna go back and change it real quick. Make sure it looks good before we print. I think everything looks good. Okay, let's print it. Why am I scared? Print. Ah, why am I nervous? Oh my gosh. Okay, so it printed really well. That pink is just supposed to be like neon where it says angel and then like nobody's perfect. That's supposed to be like neon. And it's not. It came out so dark. Do I reprint it? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna cry. It's so dark. Why would it do that? Look how bright it is on there. Okay, hold on. Okay, I made it lighter. So let's try this again. If it comes out dark again, I don't know. I guess we're just gonna use that. I feel like, should I make that one lighter too, actually? Ugh, maybe, hold on. Okay, I did it, I lightened the foam. Now let's print it again. Okay, so I was doing some Googling and it said that a JPEG might be a better file choice for printing, so let's try that. Okay, make sure it looks good. I'm nervous again. I mean, it's a little lighter. That was aggressive. Okay, I think that'll work. Yeah, it's definitely lighter than that one. Okay, we'll go with this one. Okay, now we're just going to cut it out, which like sounds easy, but there's a lot of little details that I think it's gonna be kind of hard. <laughs> because of the heat transfer paper that it is, we have to get all of the white off because if there's any white, you are going to be able to see it in the picture when you like iron it on. Okay, so next I just put the shirt on and I'm gonna use this like chalk that washes off super easily just to kind of mark where I want it. I have it on because I did this with like the sweatshirt off one time the, when I made the sweatshirts uh, and <laughs> I put them like way too low I felt like so I'm gonna mark it this time. Is 
Okay, and then the final part of what you're gonna do is you're going to get your ironing board. I have my iron heating already over here. I almost just touched it. That wouldn't be good. And then you're just going to peel the backing off. It's a little bit tricky to like grab it sometimes, but then once you get it, it comes off super easy. You wanna do it gently because it wrinkles and could potentially tear like pretty easily. So then once you have the backing off, you just line it up with those marks that you made. And it doesn't stick, but we're just gonna leave it there and take the other one off. Okay, so I think that that's good. And then once you have it where you want it, you're just going to take some parchment paper and place it on top. This is a little bit bigger than my parchment paper, the design. Uh, so we're just gonna do one side at a time. And I have my iron on the cotton setting. I'm not sure if it makes a difference, but that's what I usually do. And then you're just gonna press it down. And initially, you wanna be careful that it doesn't like fold or wrinkle. But once you have it like pressed down for the first time, then you just keep going back and forth until you feel like it's good. And you can always lift the parchment paper up to like check if it needs like more in other areas or something. And then once it's on pretty well, uh, you can just go through and see if any parts are lifting up. And if you see that they didn't like go down as well, then you just go over them a couple more times until they do. This one actually went down really, really well though. Okay, I think I'm gonna go over it one more time for safety, but it's pretty good. So that is the first one. We're gonna let that cool down while we go to work on the second one. Okay, so this one has a bunch of little pieces. So we're gonna do the same thing that we did before and put it all where we want it before we start ironing. It's just gonna take a little bit of extra effort because the pieces, the little stars are like so small. Okay, so I have everything placed where I want it. Going to gently put the baking sheet on top, parchment paper, and then I'm just gonna press the iron on for a few seconds just so that everything can kind of hold in place and then I can smooth it out. There's a lot of little pieces that I don't wanna get like folded. should be good for our second one. Okay, so I procrastinated too long and lost all of my lighting, so I'm gonna leave those overnight and then I will try them all on for you tomorrow when I have my light back and I can show you what it looks like with good lighting. So, I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> We're back and we have lighting. So here is the first shirt. Keep in mind, I didn't wash the chalk off, so there is like little chalk marks, but actually it's not that noticeable. I do think I put the design a little bit low. It definitely could have gone up here and looked good, uh, but it also looks really funny because it's like on my boobs. So I don't know, I like it. My boyfriend thinks it's too low, but I like it a lot. That's just me. And I think like the edge of the hands are in a perfect spot because they don't like extend out. So like where they are because of my boobs, like you can't, it kind of like cuts it off. You know what I mean? I don't know. But yeah, this is the short sleeve shirt. I actually really like the way that it turned out. When I was putting it on, I did think that this was a little bit low and I was like, was it really there when I tried it on? But now that I'm putting it back on, yeah. I like it. I like the positioning. <laughs> and again, I think it ironed on really, really well. There wasn't too many like small parts like the other one. The other one went on well too, you'll see. Uh, but it's just, it looks like it's part of the shirt. This paper amazes me every single time. I'm so impressed by it. Like every time I've used it, I'm like, it just looks like it's part of the shirt, which is the whole goal. And here is the second one. Ah, I love it so much. <coughs> oh my God, I'm dying. I love it so much. <laughs> I think I like cropped it to the perfect length. You can kind of tell it's a little wavy at the bottom, but I don't think anybody's gonna be paying that much attention. The positioning of this is gorgeous. This is like such like a 90s Y2K little tank top. I love it. And the length is like perfect. It's not like super cropped where it's like here and it's basically like a long bra but it like shows like a little bit of my stomach. Ah! And like the sides, they fit so perfectly. Oh, I did such a good job. <laughs> of the two, this is my favorite, but the other one did turn out really well as well. And with this one, because there was so many like intricate little pieces, it was kind of hard to get all of the white out. And you can definitely tell a little bit if you're like really close up looking at it. But I mean, if you're like a normal distance away, I don't think anybody is gonna like look that hard and be able to notice. But just keep that in mind if you are using like the transfer paper and stuff like that, especially the ones for dark fabrics, you have to get all the white off. Otherwise you're gonna be able to see it when you put it on. Uh, so if you have like intricate little parts, it's really hard. Yeah, I love this. This is my favorite. I'm 100% gonna be wearing this all the time, all the time. Make sure you follow me on Instagram to see pictures in this because 
it's gonna be on my body all the time <laughs> and i like the other one as well i'm definitely gonna be wearing that one too i think just in general the shirt isn't as comfortable though because it's just a tighter shirt it's brandy melville so it fits like children but this one uh especially because i like made it to fit me it just it's so perfect this is so perfect so anyways before i just keep rambling on and on that is it for this video thank you all so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up down below so that i know and don't forget to comment what was the comment thing oh what you want to put on a shirt i guess or just tell me which of the two shirts is your favorite whatever <laughs> and if you want to see more videos like this and from me then feel free to subscribe down below i've had these sitting around for a while so i'm so glad i finally got to do my little thrift flip i feel like when people do thrift flips they forget that you can it's not just like sewing and cutting like you can iron things on there you can put like patches but like there's other things that you can do than just sewing so i'm really happy that i could get out this no sew tutorial even though i sewed you don't have to sew this no sew thrift flip tutorial for you all i hope that you enjoyed it i hope that you create some bomb clothes with it and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.